Hi everyone, and now that we are all aware that right now we are facing against the coronavirus pandemic, which is a very hard time for us right now, but let me tell you this, this is not the first time the earth has suffered something shocking and devastating. So today, we are going to be learning about the Black Death, which is also known as the Great Plague. And this is the disease which occurred hundreds of years ago from Asia to Great Britain. So watch the rest of this video to find out how did it start, what treatments did it have for it, and how did it end. The Black Death, also known as the Pestilence and the Great Plague, was the most fatal pandemic recorded in human history, resulting in the deaths of up to 50 million people in the 14th century and 60% of Europe's entire population. The disastrous mortal disease spread across Europe in the years of 1346 to 1353. The Black Death originated in China in the early to mid-1300s and spread along trade routes westwards to the Mediterranean and northern Africa. It reached southern England in 1348 and northern Britain and Scandinavia by 1350. During the disease, rats acted as a reservoir for the bacterium. Plentiful of rats allowed the disease to spread along trade routes throughout Europe and it spread so rapidly that it reached Britain within a year. The Black Death was a second disaster affecting Europe during the late Middle Ages and in total, the plague may have reduced the world population that it took 200 years for Europe's population to recover its previous level. Some of the cures they tried included rubbing onions, herbs or a chopped up snake on the boils or cutting up a pigeon and rubbing it over an infected body, drinking vinegar, eating crushed minerals, arsenic, mercury or even a 10 year old treacle. The symptoms of the plague were abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting, fever and chills, extreme weakness, bleeding, which is blood that may not be able to clot, shock, and skin turning black, also known as gangrene. How did it end? The most popular theory of how the plague ended is through the effect of quarantines. People who had not been infected by the virus would remain in their homes and leave only when it was necessary, and then the deadly plague had finally ended in the year of 1353 after six long years.